Hey guys, it's me, Crafty Pops, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a fishtail rubber band bracelet without a rainbow loom. So let's get started. Alright, so this is what it looks like, um, this one here, on, and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this blue, green, and white one. So that's what it looks like on, and this is what it looks like off. So first, of course, you'll be needing some rubber bands, and I got this big bag of them for $4 at Michael's, and they have all the colors of the rainbow plus black and white, and you can also buy solid colors, um, like just one color in a bag, but I just bought all of them, and this is the rainbow loom, and then it also came with these C-clips. And they were kind of falling out, so I put them in this Ziploc bag. So you will be needing C-clips, S-clips, or a jump ring also. So I am going to be making my fishtail with this blue turquoise color, and then also this light green. And these are generally done with two colors, but I'm thinking I might add some white accents in the middle somewhere, but I'm not sure about that yet. So let's go ahead and start making our bracelet. So for our first step, we're going to take one color of your rubber band, put it on your pointer finger, twist it, and then your middle finger. So this should kind of look like an infinity or an eight. Pinching that down. Then take a different color. Take a different color, put it on top. And then your first color, put it on top yet again. Like this. So um, I pushed it down a little, and now we're going to be taking off our bottom blue, the one that is twisted. So just go ahead and unhook that from your fingers like this. And now we're going to take the green, because we did blue last. And this is going to be every other, so I'm doing blue, green, blue, green. You're going to put it on top. And then we're going to unhook the bottom one, which is green this time. And don't worry about having to twist your colors anymore. We're going to put on the blue one. Take off the bottom one. I'm sliding this down again. Oops, make sure they don't get twisted like mine just did. Go ahead, put on your green. Oops, unhook the bottom one. And as you can see, it's starting to form a fishtail a little. So I'm going to go through this just a couple more times. Because I think you guys can get the hang of it pretty soon. I put my blue on, and I'm taking the bottom one off. And also, a tip for this is whatever color you just put on, you're taking off. But that's only if you're doing two colors. Every once in a while, I pull it so that I make sure it doesn't get too clumped or anything like that. Repeat this step until you think you have enough length to go around your wrist, and then stop. It's not hard to add on an accent. Just go ahead, put your other color on. You only have to do this once every once in a while, and just continue the exact same process. I'm going to put the blue on instead of the green this time because I want to be able to keep the pattern that whatever I just put on I'm also just about to take off. So you don't have to do this, this just helps me. Once you're getting to the last one, go ahead and do it like you normally would. Now go ahead and take out a C-clip. So 
So here is my C-clip, and we're actually going to take these off your fingers. So you're going to have this, and go ahead and pull this back, and grab the top color, and mine happened to be green. So take your C-clip, and we're just going to put this on like you normally would, of course, just... I'm not good at putting these on. Alright, well. Okay, so now it's through like this. And of course, take the other side and your bottom color. Mine was blue. We're going to attach that to the C clip. Alright, so now it looks like this, and now you have your very own fishtail, and you did not have to go out and buy a rainbow loom if you did not want to. And I know, I wouldn't, I don't have one yet. Um, but yeah, so this is what it looks like, and it's really super simple. Um, I can make these within like, probably 5 to 10 minutes. Um, definitely no more than 10. But, um... Yeah, so I hope you guys make these, and yeah! I think this is really cool, so you guys should definitely try it, and if you haven't made any of these um, rubber band bracelets before, you definitely should, because it's a really fun craft, and I love to do it. So, yeah. Bye, guys. Also, if you're wondering, it took me, I believe, somewhere between 36 to 40 rubber bands to make this, so it does take more than just the regular kind like these but it looks really really cool and I love it so yeah I don't know I think it like is fine